parts of speech definition of parts of speech according to jc nesfield the different kinds of words are called parts of speech according to ran and martin words are divided into different kinds or classes called parts of speech according to their use that is according to the work they do in the sentence oxford learners dictionaries defines parts of speech as one of the classes into which words are divided according to their grammar such as noun verb adjective etc according to pc das the different kinds of words used in english speech are called parts of speech cambridge dictionary defines parts of speech as one of the grammatical groups such as noun verb and adjective into which words are divided depending on their use classification of parts of speech there are eight parts of speech in english eight parts of speech noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction interjection what is noun a noun is the name of a person thing place animal or idea for example shourav puja kolkata mumbai lion london etc definition of noun according to jc nesfield a noun is a word used for naming some person or thing according to ran and martin a noun is a word used as the name of a person place or thing shochin is a good boy in this sentence shochin is the name of a person so shochin is a noun boy is also a noun he lives in kolkata in this sentence kolkata is the name of a place so kolkata is a noun what is pronoun a pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun for example i you he she we they his her etc definition of pronoun according to jc nesfield a word used instead of a noun is called a pronoun according to ran and martin a pronoun is a word used instead of a noun i am playing football in this sentence i is a pronoun we are going to school in this sentence we is a pronoun what is adjective an adjective is a word used for qualifying or adding something to the meaning of a noun for example good bad tall short beautiful new old big etc definition of adjective according to jc nesfield an adjective is a word used for qualifying or adding something to the meaning of a noun or pronoun according to ran and martin an adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun rahul is a good boy in this sentence good is an adjective i am sorry in this sentence sorry is an adjective he is old in this sentence old is an adjective what is verb a verb is a word that says something about a person or thing for example do go come play 
drink, drive, swim, break, bring, begin, write, see, read, clean, sleep, live, etc. Definition of verb According to Jesse Nashfield, a verb is a word used for saying something about a person or a thing. According to Ren and Martin, a verb is a word used to say something about some person, place or thing. According to P.C. Das, a verb is a word that denotes being, having or doing or an action or a state in any form. I play football. In this sentence, play is a verb. She is singing a song. In this sentence, sing is a verb. What is adverb? An adverb is a word that generally adds something to the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. For example, very, now, slowly, quickly, here, near, carefully, etc. Definition of adverb According to Jesse Nashfield, an adverb qualifies anything except a noun or a pronoun. According to Rand and Martin, an adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. She is a very beautiful girl. In this sentence, very is an adverb. It modifies the adjective beautiful. I walk slowly. In this sentence, slowly is an adverb. It modifies the verb walk. What is preposition? A preposition is a word placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its relation to some other word in the sentence. For example, at, in, for, from, by, on, about, to, into, between, etc. Definition of preposition According to Ran and Martin, a preposition is a word used with a noun or a pronoun to show how the person or thing denoted by the noun or pronoun stands in relation to something else. According to P.C. Das, a preposition is a word that is placed before a noun or a pronoun to show the relation of that noun or pronoun with any other word of the sentence. The book is on the table. In this sentence, on is a preposition. He lives in Mumbai. In this sentence, in is a preposition. What is conjunction? A conjunction is a word that joins words or phrases or clauses. For example, and or, but, etc. Definition of conjunction According to Jesse Nesfield, a conjunction is a word for joining one word to another word or one sentence to another sentence. According to Rand and Martin, a conjunction is a word used to join words or sentences. He is poor but honest. In this sentence, but is a conjunction. Shochin and Shourov are two friends. In this sentence, and is a conjunction. What is interjection? Words that express joy, grief or some such sudden or strong feeling are called interjections. For example, Oh, Hurre, Alas, Bravo, etc. Definition of interjection According to J.C. Nashfield, an interjection is a word or sound thrown into a sentence to express some feeling of the mind. According to Ren and Martin, an interjection is a word 
which expresses some sudden feeling. Hooray! We have won the match. In this sentence, hooray is an interjection.